Today we're going to be taking a look at this RGB LED panel light made by GVM. The model number is RGB-10S. This is an RGB LED video light with full color output. It's rated at a 97 plus CRI. It's also rated at a 97 plus TLCI. It's bicolor with a color range of 3200K up to 5600K. It's dimmable from 10% up to 100%. This panel also has a smartphone app both for iOS and Android. The brightness, color temperature, hue, and saturation are adjustable with two stepless knobs. It has a quarter 20 hot shoe cold shoe mount, and it can be powered by either an MPF battery or a DC power supply. Now let's talk about the accessories that are packaged with this light. In the box, you're gonna find an instruction manual as well as a quality check certificate. The package includes a velvet storage pouch. You're also gonna find a 2200 milliamp NPF 550 battery, a hot shoe cold shoe mount that's adjustable. This kit comes with a plastic diffuser. And here is the LED panel. This is the front of it. And on the rear, you're gonna find the display panel, two stepless adjustment knobs. On the side, you're gonna find the input for the DC power supply. On the underside, you're gonna find the quarter 20 mounting screw. As you can tell here, the knobs are stepless. The diffuser installs easily, you just slide it in from the top. The MPF 550 battery snaps into place very easily. And by holding down the on off button, the unit turns on immediately. The operation of this panel is very simple. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and turn the panel on by holding down the on off button for a couple seconds. Once the panel is on, you're gonna see that the display is gonna show you the brightness and at what Kelvin you're set at. So using this um, knob here, you can adjust the brightness so we can take it all the way down to zero, which will actually turn the LED panel off. I mean, the panel is still on, but the LED beads are uh, not emitting any light at all, as you can tell. So we're at zero percent. So when we bring it back up, the first percentage that you're going to see there is 10 percent. So it goes on from 10 percent all the way up to 100 percent. The uh, next adjustment knob here is going to adjust the Kelvin. So we can move it from 3200 Kelvin, which is a very uh, warm color, and move it all the way up to 5600 Kelvin. So it moves in 100 Kelvin increments. So now we're at 5600 Kelvin. The light is a lot cooler. With this knob, if you push it down, that's gonna put the light in RGB mode. As you can tell, the top is still showing brightness, but the bottom has now changed to hue. And now using the um, this adjustment knob here, you can change the color of the light. You can change the hue. So you can dial in the exact color that you're looking for. As you can tell here, uh, I'm holding my hand up here and you can see that the color is changing as I'm adjusting this knob here. Now, if we go in and push this button down again, that's gonna change it to saturation. So now you can change the saturation of the light. So I can adjust this down and make that blue that it's emitting right now a lot less intense. So if we set it to 100%, that's all the way blue there. And then we can dial that back as needed. If we push that button again, now we're back in bicolor mode and we're back to uh, 5600K and we can make it our, our adjustments here. And you can tell from my hand, let's see here. We're at 3200 Kelvin there. It's a real warm light there. And then we can move it up to 5600 Kelvin, a lot cooler. One of the convenient features that this LED panel has is that it comes with a iOS or Android app to be able to control all of the settings that this panel is capable of. So for this demonstration, we're gonna use my iPhone. And what you're gonna wanna do is go over to the App Store 
search for GVM easily and you're gonna find that it's the only result that comes up so it makes it very easy to identify at this point go ahead and download and install the app once it downloads go ahead and open it it's gonna ask you to put in an email and a password so it can register your account once the app is open the next thing that you're gonna to want to do is go over to settings and Turn on your LED panel. Once your LED panel is on, it immediately begins to put out a Wi-Fi signal. So in your Wi-Fi settings, you're gonna notice that there's a GVM LED. Go ahead and choose that as your Wi-Fi connection. Once the connection is established, go back over to the app. Go ahead and hit the menu on the upper left-hand corner. Choose Switch Device and pick RGB Light. Once the LED panel is connected to the app, you'll notice at the top of the app, it says connected. So now you're gonna be able to change all the settings on the LED panel using the connected app. Starting from the top of the app, you're gonna find a color wheel. So as soon as I begin to move this color wheel here, you're gonna notice that the back of the uh, LED panel, you'll see that the hue is changing. So let's say I set it to, 200 you're going to notice in the back of the led panel the hue is set at 200 and you can see from my demonstration here my hand back here the color is uh, set so we're going to switch it over to let's say red and you can see from by looking at my hand back here it is emitting uh, emitting red so the hue is now set at 350. So that's what the color wheel can do for you using the app. And if you push the middle button here that looks like a power button, that turns the LED panel off. So you push it again, turns it back on. Now moving down to the sliders here, the first slider here is to adjust the color temperature of the bicolor light. So as you can tell here, if I move it all the way down to 3200K, the LED panel responds accordingly. And you can tell from my hand here, the color is very warm. So if we move it all the way back up to 5600K, you can see that the color is now really cool. Moving down is the saturation adjustment. So from here, as soon as you tap it, it switches the LED panel back to RGB mode. And you can tell if we dial in, let's say a kind of a purple color here, and we dial back the saturation, you can see that the purple, the intensity of the purple becomes less and less, all the way back to it being literally just a regular white color. And as we move it back up, you'll see that it becomes more intense. Now the next slider down is the brightness control. So, so you can tell again from, as I move this down, you can tell that the LED panel is becoming a lot less intense here all the way down to zero percent where the LED panel is off and it, again it begins at now here's the interesting thing by using the stepless knob on the back of the LED panel here the percentage goes from zero percent to ten percent but using the app you can actually bring it all the way down to one percent so that's a very nice uh, convenience there using the app so as you can tell here, I can move the brightness all the way up to 100% and the LED panel responds accordingly. And that is pretty much it for the operation of the app synced with the LED panel. You can also control multiple LED panels uh, and you can group them uh, on the same channel or different channels so that you can adjust them um, individually. And you're gonna be able to do that, as you can tell, right next to the color wheel to the left-hand side you can see how you can change the channels here. So as you change the channels, uh, you can program the LED panels to a different channel and operate them individually or operate them as a group. Now that we've gone over all the specs, unboxed and demoed the smartphone app, now let's see how we can use this LED panel for this situation here, which is a review video. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and turn off our uh, studio key light 
And I'm gonna switch the LED panel on using the app. So right now we're set to 5600K at 100%, which for this purpose, uh, this LED panel is a little too bright. So I'm gonna dial it back down and I'm gonna watch my monitor here until I get the brightness that I'm going for here. So I think at about 50%, that's, that's pretty good there. I think I'm well exposed there. Where I currently have this LED panel positioned, you can see that I'm getting a little bit of shadow on this side of my face. But if I want more shadow, I can easily move this panel a little more to the right here. You can see that it creates more of a shadow here. So simply by repositioning this panel, I can get different effects. And again, uh, changing the brightness, I can also get uh, different effects here. Now, the major plus with this LED panel is the fact that it is an RGB, RGB panel. So if I want to switch over to RGB mode, I can easily just hit the color wheel and dial in whichever color I'm looking for. Let's say I'm looking for a blue color and I can dial back the saturation, as you can tell here. Or if I want to switch it over to like a purple color here, again, dial back the saturation. If I dial back the saturation to zero, it's basically white light with a little bit of purple in it. Put it up to 50%, you can see that purple coming in. Put it all the way up to 100%, and you can definitely see that the light is emitting purple. One of the cool things about using it as an RGB light is that you can use it to light your backgrounds and change out your backgrounds as you need them for uh, different uh, videos. Uh, if you wanna switch up your look uh, for every video, you can easily do that. If you put multiple LED panels in the back, uh, using the app, you can sit there and just really mix different contrasting colors, you know, yellows and reds or reds and blues or whatever, uh, effect that you're going after. You're going to be able to do that if you set them up in your background. Also for photography, let me switch this back to the regular color here. Dial it back up to 50%. So 5600K, 50%. That's the effect that we're getting here. You can also use this for photography for kind of like an artsy look. If you get two panels, you set one to red, one to blue, point that right at your subject so that their face is um, lit uh, red on one side, blue on one side, and then it meets in the middle. You can get some really cool effects that way for photography. So you're not only gonna be able to use this light for um, video work, you're gonna be able to use it for photography as well. Now that we've gone over a couple demos using this panel, let's talk about the build and design of this LED light. It is made out of plastic, which adds uh, to the fact that it's lightweight. Uh, there is a little bit of weight to it being that it does have this uh, battery. So if you install this battery in the back, it adds a little bit of weight. Without the battery, it's fairly lightweight. With the battery, it adds a little bit of weight. But the fact that it's made out of plastic is actually helpful because if you're gonna put this on top of your camera, so, it's, so if it's gonna be part of your camera rig, uh, it is gonna add some weight, but it's not gonna add a ton of weight, again, because it's all made out of plastic. But overall, the construction of it feels uh, like it's built very well. I think the manufacturer did a good job in the build quality of this panel. Now let's talk about the setup and operation. Setup and operation in terms of being able to use this panel using the uh, controls in the back of the panel, it's very simple. Even if you don't read the instructions, it's gonna be easy to understand how to operate this light. Now let's talk about who this panel is best suited for. There's a multiple of different ways you can use this panel. We've already covered some of the ways, uh, but being that it's an RGB panel and also it puts out regular white light, this is one of these panels that you're gonna wanna have in your kit bag, in your camera bag, uh, because you're gonna be able to um, use this light for a multitude of different ways, whether you're doing photography or video work, whether you're gonna be using this light mobile or in studio you're gonna be able to use it either way. If you're gonna use it in studio, I would recommend using the DC power supply. That way you don't have to worry about having uh, your batteries die on you in the middle of a shoot. Uh, if you're gonna be using mobile, uh, definitely carry some extra batteries. So if the one that's on here dies out on you, you just swap it out. But as you can see, it's very convenient for either mobile use or in studio use. Uh, you got 
couple of different ways that you can power this panel. Now, one thing I do want to note about the smartphone app um, in iOS, iOS um, has this feature where when the screen turns off, it terminates uh, certain processes going on in the background that it thinks that is not important so that it can save your battery. Where that becomes an issue is if you launch the app, you connect to the LED panel, and then your display turns off, and then you wanna open it back up to make some further adjustments, you're gonna find that more than likely the connection is gonna be terminated. And then to reconnect, you're gonna have to quit the app and then open up the app again to reconnect to the LED panel because it's gonna terminate the Wi-Fi connection as well. So you gotta reconnect the Wi-Fi and then reopen the app and reconnect again. The reason for that is because of the way iOS works. As soon as your screen turns off, whatever processes it finds that shouldn't be running or it thinks it shouldn't be running, it'll terminate them. So the one way around that is you go into your settings and I'm gonna to try to get this on camera here, but you're gonna to want to go to display and brightness and under display and brightness, you're gonna find this setting right here called auto lock, as you can tell right there. Set auto lock to never. And what that's gonna do is it's going to prevent the screen from turning off, which means your screen's gonna stay on the whole entire time. So keep that in mind. But while you're using the app, that's gonna be convenient because it's not gonna terminate the connection. It'll keep the, the, the uh, connection active as long as you stay in the app. And um, so once you know you're done making your adjustments, then you can switch that back. And don't forget to switch that back. Otherwise, your screen is gonna stay on and your battery is gonna drain really quick. So it's just a little uh, tip if you're gonna be uh, using the app uh, for this LED panel. And now for the million dollar question. Is the GVM RGB 10S LED panel worth your hard-earned money? As of the recording of this review video, this LED panel sells for $60.99 on Amazon. I think that's a great bargain for this LED panel. You're getting a ton of features packed into this panel, laid out in a very simple way. You're gonna get a lot of different, or two different uh, powering options, either use it with the battery, or use it with the DC power supply. Uh, it's gonna come with a diffuser. Uh, it's RGB and puts out white light. And both of those uh, are very adjustable, very granular, either using the two simple knobs in the back of the panel or using the smartphone app. So overall at $60.99, I think it's very budget friendly. I think you're gonna get a LED panel that's built really well with a ton of features. I think it's well worth the money. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you were to pick one of these up. So if you're a videographer or a photographer, there's definitely a whole bunch of different ways that you can use this LED panel. So overall, I think this is a great bargain for the cost of the product. This is gonna complete my review of the GVM RGB 10S LED panel. If you found some value in this video, I would appreciate it if you were to hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, that way you get notified the next time we upload a new video. And on that note, I will see you on the next review.